It's absolutely out of control, Casa. <laughs> it's out of control. Look How at this. There's no way we can go. It's just a minefield of pots. It's insane. Okay, get ready. Uh, we're just gonna go over this one. Go to neutral. Uh, yep, yeah, okay, you're good. Oh my gosh. After weaving our way through the lobster pots, we finally arrived at our home for the next few weeks. There's over 4,000 islands in the state of Maine, and this tiny speck of land nestled in the southern part of the St. George Peninsula would be our introduction to this amazing cruising ground. Cruising has taken many different forms for Delos over the years, from deserted sandy islands, to remote villages, to bustling cities, but nothing quite like this before. We couldn't have found a better place to ride out a tropical storm and celebrate the incredible milestone of Sierra's first birthday than our very own private island. This is the story of Delos, a sailboat adventurizing around the world for the past 10 years. And now, we embark on our greatest adventure of all. Come join us as we take to the high seas and travel the world with the newest member of our crew. If you enjoy Delos videos, please subscribe. It's a great way to support our channel. She's never worn shoes. It's like, it's kind of like a cat that you put socks on and she's like trying to pull them off. I know. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, these things are weird. <laughs> what do I need these for? Well, I'll tell you what, Sierra, we're in Maine now. And in Maine, you gotta wear shoes. <laughs> Baby. Ooh. Where are we finding ourselves? Right? <laughs> okay, so this is absolutely amazing. And as we were on our way up, we got an email from a family that has been watching the videos for years. And this is their family cabin on this little island. Uh, it's been in their family since the 60s, I think. And they said, hey, if you guys are looking for a cool place to like just stop, it's quiet, you can do your uh, two week self quarantine there, put the boat on the mooring and you can take Sierra on the island and there's like a little house up here, then just chill. Uh, Cause they're not able to use it this summer cause they're locked down unfortunately. But uh, yeah, it's, it's looks amazing. I know, I'm so excited. This is so to go cool. Should we go it explore it? Yeah. Okay, this, so it's a, it's a small island. Uh, yeah and there's only one house on it. It's surrounded by two deep water channels. Awesome boat dock. Wow, this is so different than anything that we've ever done sailing, right? Yeah. I think that's sure. one of the reasons I wanted to come to Maine. It's just to see like a different type of geography and topography and it has a whole different vibe to it. Whoa, ah. looks amazing. I was just admiring the construction of this cabin and how amazing it is, the woodwork, like it's all done with these wooden pegs and uh, inset big pieces of wood like that. It's really well constructed and you can just feel it when you walk inside and it's all been done without nails or bolts. So this place is awesome, but it's quite a few things out that uh, it's not baby proof. So. <laughs> I think it's going to take a little bit to kind of organize so Sierra doesn't terrorize things that could actually hurt her, you know? For example, being out here on deck is a little dangerous. Danger we can baby proof baby. the inside. Danger baby. These are easily accessible and destroyable from the couch. Those gotta go, baby nugs. The other danger zone we have identified is the TV. 
I'm pretty sure she can grab all of these cords and or pull all of this stuff right onto her head. Well, this is gonna be our home for the next... Two weeks? Yeah. Oh, how cozy. I don't know if I've ever went to a cozy outhouse, but... <laughs> That's your morning view, right there. <laughs> Feels really incredible to know that we'll be in this one spot for a while. I feel like we've been moving a lot. It's been like go, go, go for the last, I don't know, really since we left the Bahamas. It's been like super busy. I'm really excited to slow down and just get into a bit of a rhythm and you know the things that you miss when you move a lot. <laughs> it's a good day today, very good day and I'm feeling very relaxed and you know just breathe out, it feels really good. So beautiful here. It is very calm this morning. Well, you can actually see the sky reflecting in the water. Good morning, birthday nugget. <laughs> Guess what today is? You were born one year ago in Sweden. Isn't that crazy? And apparently she's technically a toddler now. Is yep. that right? Between one and two. Are you a toddler? A toddler of terror? Have you seen the water outside? It's so cold. It is like a mirror. You can see the oh. sky reflected in it. So beautiful. It's definitely the calm before the storm. Yeah, I know. I feel a bit worried. It's we came up from the Bahamas to avoid hurricanes. Yeah. And what's following us? There is a tropical. Was it tropical storm Isaiah? Yeah. I think it was a hurricane, but now it's just a tropical storm. I mean. We're probably fine here, but I think it's gonna blow like 40, 45. Yeah, I'll look at the forecast. Yeah. And we're good today. We're gonna celebrate Sierra's birthday. What a milestone, Sierra! Wow, you've gotten so much better at eating over the last year. <laughs> <laughs> it's still an adventure, but now look at you. you. Get most of it in your nugget mouth. All right, so we've been tracking the progress of uh, Hurricane Isaiah as it comes up the coast. And I didn't know they can come this far north. Yeah, it actually, they, this one is losing power because of uh, the colder water. And so it's going to decrease in strength a little bit. But you can see we're right uh, in here right now. And you can see that this is uh, now. And then you can see that this starts to move in. And it should hit us, uh, okay. so that's 2 a.m. is when the wind is going to really be at its worst. So down here, a little bit further south, we're seeing 36 knots, uh, but it moves through quite quickly. So within eight hours, we're back to, you know, 15 knots. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Just destroying. Oh, cool. One, two, and three. I can't believe she's one year old today. It's crazy. You're going so big. It feels like such a huge milestone. It's almost hard to describe, and I don't think we describe it enough, or maybe show it enough in the videos because it's hard. But you know, like, it's. It's a lot of work having a baby, <laughs> but being a family on a boat is absolutely incredible. I guess Sierra has sailed over like almost closer to 3000 nautical miles now, which is quite a lot for a one year old nugget. <laughs> and uh, just having her on the boat has changed things a lot, but it's been absolutely magical to be a family and just to sail around the three of us yeah she's healthy we're happy it's pretty special it's her birthday and i can't believe she's won she's the best baby in the world and i love her so much <laughs> even though it was a super special day 
festivities would have to wait as we battened down the hatches for the approaching storm. Calm before the storm, huh? Yeah, just preparing, taking stuff down, uh, making sure everything is like tied down and stuff, and yeah. if it starts blowing a lot. We decided to come off the mooring. Yeah. Because even though it is a good mooring, I still trust our hook better. Yeah, I know. I that's like us, you know. We 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 know the anchor. We know we have a good anchor and a good snubber and all of that stuff. And I feel like being on a mooring ball, like, I mean, even though they just checked it, I still feel it's a little uh, sketchy. Yeah. You're relying on somebody else, basically. We wrote out some blows on this hook. Yeah, I know. Uh, so yeah, we moved up a little bit more. It's supposed to blow out of the south more, which is that way. So we got a little bit closer to the island to reduce the fetch. Uh, and if it happens to blow southwest. We've still got some protection from that point right there. So we'll just take down our flag and some other things. Looks Maybe like we'll put another wrap on the furler too. Yeah. That makes just sense. to make sure. And I backed down at like 2000 RPM, uh, which is quite a bit and we yeah. didn't budge. So we're set pretty good. We'll put the dinghy behind Delos and then and we sit tight. How do you like your new Delos hats, Sierra? <laughs> Ahoy Delos tribe. Get ready for the cold weather with our SV Delos beanies hot off the press. They're great for that salty sailor or Jacques Cousteau wannabe in your life. Available in two different designs with sizes to fit just about everyone. Thanks for supporting the Delos project. And now back to the show. Nice hat. Yeah. The water up north is much cooler than we're used to. And since our water tank is in the keel, the water we shower in is the same exact temp as the ocean. And it just so happens that our water heater was having a mind of its own. You wanna come help me try and fix the heater? I'm just gonna unhook the wires just to isolate those and then I can test the voltage and we'll see if after I unhook the wires, if that breaker still blows or not. And that will tell us a little bit. Well, uh, the breaker did not blow. And as you can see by the meter, we've got uh, 220 volts. So the power is good. And it looks like uh, there must be either a short in the hot water heater or there's a short to ground or neutral. So we'll have to take a look at that. That sucks though. I was kind of hoping it'd be the wiring because that would be easier to fix. Ugh. This is the special tool to get out the heater element because it's got a really big 55 mil socket on it. And uh, unfortunately the tool is too wide to fit in there. So you can see it's starting to scrape along the grounding screw. So uh, I tried to get the grounding screw out and it seized in there. So I'm just going to grind down this tool a little bit so I can tighten it up. It's always something that always turns into a real boat project, you know? All right, so I talked to the tech support guy, the manufacturer, and they were super helpful. They said that sometimes a little bit of condensation can get in there and it uh, creates like a white corrosion. Okay. And so I took the thermostat off and I did find some stuff and I cleaned up the contacts. I measured okay. the element and it's 40 ohms like it's supposed to be so if it still doesn't work then we need to order a new thermostat is what he suspects okay but we'll try it and see because i want the nugs to have a warm bath today this is the heater element so this just sits in the hot water and look at the difference between these two so i think the problem was that this is a a zinc and i didn't know that there was one in there and apparently you're supposed to change these every so often. So the zinc corroded away and then probably the internal element itself started to... Ah, so you're supposed to change the sink I in them? I guess. I'll put that back in and we should have hot water so we don't have to bathe Sierra in the <laughs> freezing cold water anymore. <laughs> it's been pretty brutal. Oh my gosh, she goes crazy. I don't like it either, Sierra. I don't like it either. we're pulling 1.2 and the hot water heater is 1200 watts so 1.2 kilowatts so it's working what <laughs> oh 
<laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> Yay! So Nugget can have a hot shower. That's amazing. <laughs> Happy birthday! Oh, it's hot. Uh, it's good. Yeah, yours is birthday yours beans is up. up there, Kaza. I know. Well done, guys. Oh. <laughs> Can you not grab it though? It's your birthday now. She, of course, she's gonna grab it. Mmm. Is that good? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, little nuggets. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> It's your moment, Nugget. Come on, okay. pull it out. One, two, three, two three. and... <sighs> <laughs> okay, Nugget. She's, She's like, you guys are so weird. Not. I don't get it at all. I just want the muffin. But now you can eat it. Here. Mm, eat Ooh, it. Look at that. It's a blueberry muffin and it's all yours. Here, eat that. Oh, blueberry <laughs> muffin. This is actually really funny. Definitely rolling in. Fog's coming in, wind's coming in. It's starting to blow. You need to clock around more this way though. Jeez. It's starting to get windy out here. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> yeah, we need to clock around, man. Well, we're going back early because the weather has started to get real shit. <laughs> Building the mid 20s now. Wonderful. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be a very peaceful night. Jeez, look at this. Seven, 28. Oh, here we go, Kaza. Yeah. She has no idea, huh? Yeah. This is a tropical storm, baby nugs. It's your first tropical storm. It's gonna blow tonight and make a lot of noise, but we're gonna be safe, I promise. So it turns out that uh, the hurricane, Isaiah's, it went to the west of us. So we're just catching the very side edge of it. And it's actually not too bad. The highest I saw was 35 knots, which isn't too much, but you can definitely feel the, the sea state. Like the whole boat is just moving and shimmying and we're really far in off the ocean and we're, we're really well protected so I can't even imagine just how insane it must be on the ocean. But anyway, I think we're good because we're now pointing southwest. Yep, and so it's come from the east and then it's swung around to southwest, which is what we were hoping for. And so I think we're gonna be just fine. Next on Delos we finally get a taste of the world-famous Maine lobster. Meet our neighbors and harvest enough mussels to have a cook-off competition. Yes! You did it! Yeah! Ah. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good! Ah. I can't handle the truth! She also tried to drink Will's beer. Yeah. <laughs> got a turf board on her hands. 